here we have our F-150 windshield with the Luminec display, which is what we refer to as gauges and glass. So this is a thin film electroluminescent display, and some of its benefits are that it is up to 1,500 nits, which is brighter than any projected HUD. The technology that is embedded in this particular windshield is very sophisticated. Luminec and Benic are the, the leaders in that technology, and that's why we've decided to partner with them. With this ultra-rugged, hyper-tough product, we can now put our gauges into the glass and sell direct to consumers. One question we've been getting a lot at this show is if this is a sticker or not, and it is not a sticker. What it is is a very robust technology, and it's manufactured on glass, and we have to manufacture on a glass substrate because our processing temperatures go up to 500 C. No plastic would survive that. And the reality is it, it is very new technology and no one's ever seen it before and we're able to, to bring this to market and people just want to understand how it works and how can they really get it in their vehicle. The display in the glass is a thin film electroluminescent display. It's 80% transmissive so it shows information very clearly. Our displays are solid state inorganic phosphor so they can be cut to any shape as long as we know that ahead of time. It also has a one millisecond response rate and that's across the entire gamut of temperature, negative 100 C to 105 C positive. So our technology is completely independent of temperature. Lifetime is 100,000 hours to 85% brightness and that's also independent of temperature. We are not susceptible to humidity or UV, we don't have degradation from sun exposure, so that's what makes it perfect for any type of exterior glass application. This design is a great example of what we can do, but we can do other things. We can do individual gauges that then can be programmed with software to show different information, like depending on what the driver wants to see. The gauges can be customizable, it will be open source, plug into the OBD2 so the end user can then tweak the products. Right now we have the ability to put up to seven different independent displays feeding simultaneously from one chip. We see for our racers, they really like to have the information along the A-pillar. So we can also embed our technology in the A-pillar or even down here where a typical HUD has been. So it just depends on where the driver wants it and what information they want to see can be adjusted depending on the driver with software. But imagine for a fleet, if you can have warning signals, so either blind spot indication, turn signals that are on, indications of your time to your next stop, those types of things can really help a fleet. It's really a safety factor for fleet vehicles and public transport, getting warning lights, speed, the really big things to get information and a warning in front of the driver so that they can see it quicker, keep their eyes on the road. For EMS and for police cars, it can give estimated times or better ways to get there if there's construction or traffic or better routes available that they don't know of. So it can give immediate updates to that information as opposed to having to look down and off the windshield. So it keeps that information front and center so they're much safer, traffic around them is much safer, and they can more easily do their job. Other applications for our technology are within architectural glass for entry into conference rooms or identification of conference rooms within office spaces. Rear window pieces above like a charge port for an electric car. But we see a lot of applications where driver identity needs to be confirmed or passenger identity needs to be confirmed. With our technology, there's no polarizers, there's no filters, it's a true 360 viewing angle. So no matter where you are in the car or even outside of the car, as you can see from this angle, you can see the display clearly. Our technology can be embedded in the glass, so then that allows for the data to be front and center in front of the driver. It hasn't been able to be there quite in this fashion before. 